this Thursday morning. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Your World. My name is Winnie Lubembe, hoping that you've had a better start to the day. Now, education is an integral part of human society. It is uh, its importance in life. It cannot be ignored as lack of education gives birth to numerous social problems like poor health, internal conflict, poor living standards, and many more. However, COVID-19 posed even greater challenges with 2020 school calendar considered lost forcing nearly 17 million learners countrywide to stay away from schools. Now, as they embark on a seven-week break, will this affect the efforts made by teachers in helping them settle back in schools? And what role do parents play in ensuring that their children are safe and engaged? We'll discuss that in a moment, but first things first, the day's highlights. <laughs> Catholics across the globe mark Ash Wednesday, beginning of the annual 40 days Lent season. Media houses launched 2022 presidential debate to be held in July. And school's term three comes to an end this week and today we delve into the impact of the long holidays ahead. all about the long holiday seven weeks to be exact and i know for parents out there how do you feel about this long holiday i know during the first time where of course the learners were at home for a very long time the parents heard it a lot okay so this time seven weeks how do you feel about this so i want to hear from the parents today if you're watching us uh, right now and thinking so what do i do with these kids okay feel free to interact with us at ntv kenya at lubembe underscore winnie but if you want to call in feel free to also do so then i will be down on your screens in just a moment and we'll also want to understand the impact that it will have on the learners and the parents ready for the same and when they go back to school will the teachers be ready as well so we'll be focusing on all matters education today and of course as far as that long holidays is concerned so again feel free to interact with us at any given point we look forward to hear what you have to say but before we start the conversation Catholics across the globe yesterday marked Ash Wednesday the beginning of the annual 40 days Lent season signified by the application of Ash on their foreheads. Christians thronged churches in various parts of the country for similar masses to mark the annual event. During the period, faithfuls are expected to pray and fast while engaging in acts of charity. The Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops say it will play an active role in fostering peace ahead of the general elections. Rose Wangoi has more details. At the Holy Family Basilica, Bishop David Kamau held a service during which the foreheads of the faithful were marked with the sign of the cross with ashes made from last year's Palm Sunday. Ash Wednesday derives its name from the practice of placing ashes on the foreheads of adherents as a sign of mourning and repentance to God. That without God, we are like that ashes. Without God, we are going to have more problems. So this time of Lent, let us pray. First of all, for our families. And then we pray for our country, especially as we approach the election. In Nyeri County, faithful gathered at the Blessed Irene Stefaninyada Information Center, where Bishop Anthony Muheria presided over the main mass. The Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops have picked the theme of focusing on integrity and peaceful elections. Muheria urged political leaders to bring Kenyans together and set an example by conducting peaceful campaigns. It's a time to pray that peace will reign now during elections, after elections, not only in our country, but even in Ukraine, as Pope Francis invited us. 
The Archbishop also acknowledged that giving is not a sin, but it should be from a clean position offered in secret as per the dates of the Holy Book, the Bible. Don't bring dirty money in church. That's what we said. I wish I could say which is dirty or not. It's not the amount. It is the source and the intention. This has been the stand of the church. Lent season is observed 40 days ahead of Easter, and church members abstain from eating meat like Christ, who fasted and endured temptations by Satan, as recorded in the chronicle books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Application of ashes is a practice religiously followed among other Western Christians, including Anglicans, Lutherans, Methodists, and Presbyterians, who as well observe this day of fasting. Christians are also expected to practice more self-sacrifice, pray, repent, and to give alms. Rosongoy NTV. And the fifth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly has come to an end. And although it has adopted the resolutions before it, the resolution on plastic waste and its management is seen as the most important decision on environmental protection in recent years. This resolution now paves way for the creation of an intergovernmental committee which will negotiate and finalize a legally binding agreement by the year 2024. So this means that new rules targeting plastic pollution will be put in place globally and will involve the entire value chain from production to disposal. And TV science editor Zaina Bondati explains. There were 11 resolutions on the table focused on three key areas, and that is climate change, waste management, and biodiversity laws. And the UN Environment Assembly says it is a historic moment that decisions were taken on these areas. We need to reset our relationship to nature. We need to change our business models. We need to change our policies. We need to change our entire economies uh, in order to cater for a nature positive future. We humans are putting extreme pressure on the planet, despite representing less than 1% of life on the planet. Humanity has crossed the planetary boundaries as the main driver for chemical pollution, biodiversity loss, greenhouse gas uh, concentration, Plastic waste is one of the biggest challenges that the world faces today and as the Environment Assembly takes a resolution on managing plastic waste, the ministers were quick to point out that they are not against plastic. What they are against is how this waste is disposed of after use. We have just enacted a legislation that we call it the Sustainable Waste Management Act that moves this country from linear economy to circularity. Very important, but it's not enough. Progress on a legally binding global agreement on the plastic pollution is a truly welcome first step to implementation, and it will make a difference. One that shows again the true value of multilateralism. Africa has been a leader on this front. As I understand, 34 out of the 54 countries have already put in place legislation on single-use plastic bags, and we encourage the other 20 countries to follow suit. The resolution on plastic pollution is said to be the biggest green deal after the Paris Climate Agreement of 2015, and it has been signed by 175 member states of the United Nations, and it will be legally binding. Zainab Wandati, NTV, Nairobi. Thanks, Zainab. And all presidential candidates have to attend this year's presidential debate to stand a chance in the general election. This is the warning issued by the media owners, the Media Council of Kenya and the Kenya Editors Guild at the launch of the presidential debate. And that will be held in July this year. NTV's Martin Mwangi reports. Democratic state, media plays an integral part in ensuring the leaders are accountable for their actions. The media's place in leading the way in facilitating Kenyans to evaluate the presidential and deputy presidential candidates is most vital now than before. During the last presidential debate held in 2017, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was then seeking a re-election to serve for a second term, gave it a wide berth. But this year, the stakeholders warned that it will be different. It is suicidal for any presidential or deputy presidential candidate not to attend this. We expect uh, and we will work with them, we will work with the various stakeholders, we will work to 
with the various presidential candidates once they are announced. And uh, we are positive, we are confident that because they want the best for this country and because they want to communicate with the, with the voters, they will attend. The media has committed to provide fair and balanced coverage with a team of senior editors across the industry established to monitor the content. Structures have been put in place to secure the interest of Kenyans and to deliver fairness to all concerned, especially audiences and candidates. As media entities and as newsrooms in our country, as we go about covering the elections, we have no candidates. The public will also be invited to participate in the process and their questions will be addressed by the candidates. It is barely five months to arguably Kenya's biggest presidential contest yet. And as alignments and realignments continue in search of a winning formula, the fourth estate is reading itself to grill all presidential candidates in line with their manifestos and scorecards for you so that you can make the best decision. Martin Mwangi, NTV. In Nairobi. Thanks, Martin. And tension remains high in the Baringo and Elgeo Marquette belt as cattle rustling and the killings that come with it continue to rise. A Form 3 student has been killed and livestock stolen. This becomes the latest killing as fear grips the villages in Sinoni and Moshongoi ahead of the start of the national exams next week. Here is NTV's Brian Obuya. Dozens of police officers patrol the hills and valleys in Sinoni, Baringo County. They are responding to increasing levels of insurgency in the county. Just last night, an unknown number of bandits raided villages in the area and left death and destruction in the wake. Bandits shot and killed a Form 3 student from Tuyo Teach School in Mochongoi. Residents report that he was attacked as he returned home after taking his family's cattle out to graze. Over 40 families have fled their homes in Kasiela, Chemwanian, Seretion and Menmeno seeking refuge in schools. Sisi kama wakaachi wakasiela sinuni, tutaendelea kukwisha. Sabu tulikuwa zaratia operation ipanyige, na askari waketi yabu likuja, na mi nafikiri ya kari yawi kanguka hapo, hiyo ABC yao, hapa tu sinuni, na nasasema ilikuwa na intention, sabu ikari ilianguka na wakarudi, wakarudisha, na hakuna kitu walifanya jote. Locals accuse the government of failing to eradicate bandits. On February 18th, the government intimated at criminalizing the Pokot warriors with the hope of restoring order in an area that is under constant threat. Next week, I am going to the National Security Council to seek authorization of the council to declare the Pokot warriors and the Pokot movement they are an outlawed organization and we will categorize them the same way we categorize MRC and the terror groups that we have in the country. Sasa, a whole cabinet secretary convening a meeting to issue empty threats. Why would you do that, Matiangi? Why would you call a whole leadership meeting to lie to us, to pretend that you have teeth and you cannot fight? So, hiyo ndiyo kitu ambayo inatukera sana. Kwamba, we all agree that there will be an operation, or, you know, there will be an aerial operation. Kwanza vile Matiangi anajua kuongea na kengeresa mingi sana. You know, very colorful English, that there will be serious operation, nini, 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 or, you know, and then you made sure that we believe you. Then now, what has happened? With national examinations set to commence next week, the major concern among the locals is the state of security. Brian Obuya, NTV. And elsewhere, Ukraine is finding it hard to get its message across in Southern Africa, where there remains affection for Moscow dating from the apartheid era, the Ukrainian ambassador in Pretoria says. There is a strong sentiment about Russia rooted in Moscow's support during the Cold War for anti-apartheid and anti-colonial movements, she says. Meanwhile, protesters gather outside South Africa's Department, International Relations and Corporations in Pretoria in support of Ukraine following Russia's invasion. Uh, you will see that there is a very strong sentiment of uh, South Africans 
uh, about Russia being USSR and being very assistant in struggling against apartheid and colonialism. Uh, the only thing that we are forgetting that there were 15 countries within the USSR and a lot of current management of the country uh, was studying in Ukraine as well. Russia took all the legacy of this on its own and we were trying to build our state. We were developing our economy, our relations in the region and uh, Africa obviously was not uh, first in priority. All right, let's switch gears now and focus on the conversation of the day and that is all about the impact of long holidays. And I'm pretty sure all the parents out there are like, okay, so now what do we do, all right? And of course, we just want to understand from you as parents, are you concerned, are you a bit scared, are you nervous? The fact that you'll have, you know, the learners or students, your children in this case, at home for that long, do you have plans to keep them engaged and do you have activities planned out for them? Or you're just like, hey, Sasa, what do we do? All right, so feel free to interact with us if you are a parent uh, watching us at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie. But at the same time, feel free to call in live. The numbers will be down on your screen. And just let us know how you feel about this aspect of long holidays. Are you prepared for the same? Are you not? Are you finding ways to keep your uh, children engaged? That is what we want to find out today. And of course, the impact that this long holiday will have on the learners, even as they also prepare to go back to school. Will the teachers be prepared then? All right, so it's a lot and a very pertinent conversation today. And I'm really, really lucky to be surrounded by teachers today. My parents are teachers as well, so I'm pretty sure they're happy <laughs> this morning because this is something that will touch um, on them as well. So very quickly to uh, introduce my guest for the day. So we have Joel Corbier, who's a youth leader and a financial strategist as well. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. All right, Karibu Sana. Thank and you. we also have Lydia Nguiri, who is a teacher and a counselor as well. Thank you very much, Lydia, for joining us. You're well this morning? I'm very well. Thank you very, very much well. for coming. And then we also have Nelson Njuguna, who is a teacher and community service learning facilitator. Hey. Good morning. Hi, <laughs> And thank you very much for coming. But you'll tell us what community service learning facilitator is all about, right? Sure. And then we also have um, Mashari Kama, who's a counseling psychologist and an education consultant. Thank you very much. Very, very big panel, but very important as well as far as the conversation that we're having today on set, and that is the impact of the long holidays. So let me just begin with you, um, Mashari, and then, of course, I'll also talk to Nelson. As far as 2020, let's just begin from there. I mean, yes, schools were closed. It was a very long holiday, you know, for all the learners. And when they came back to school, it was a bit heavy you know for you know all the learners and and, and um, even the teachers as well right so let's just begin <coughs> with this take us through 2020 how it was for you guys uh thank you Winnie. Mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, morning of yours i think uh, 2020 was uh i think one of the special years that we have never had even uh, mm -hmm. even as, as we are growing up we have not we have not experienced any uh, such a period whereby students had to have a break of up, up to 10 months mm -hmm. at home yes Bearing in mind that uh, the home system, the, the school system are totally different. Mm -hmm. So having our our kids at home for th that long period, mm -hmm. you can definitely tell, you can, uh, tell that the systems are totally different. Mm -hmm. In school, there is a schedule and a program, uh, a program that they have to follow. Mm -hmm. They have to be in class. Mm -hmm. uh, but being at home, you can tell the environment is totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, being out for that long period, uh, we experienced a situation where students, most of them uh, were idle, others engaged in business. I even uh, recall we were having a discussion whereby uh, the dropout rate was quite high after the school, the school resumed mm -hmm. because the, the, the setup that they had at home and even, even resuming back to school, mm -hmm. there was that challenge for them to connect between the wrong holiday and coming and back coming now to back the school, to school system. Yeah. I think as teachers, we had that challenge of uh, mm -hmm. trying to bring back mm -hmm. our students back to, back, back psychologically to, back to school. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, again, it must have been difficult because like you said, most of them, you know, went home, started businesses, mm -hmm. you know, some of them actually 
got into relationship, we also had like a number of, um, you know, uh, teenage pregnancies um, at the same time. And um, again, so Nelson, in terms of community service learning, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, again, how was it for you, I would say, in terms of just trying to integrate um, cases of, yes, the learners are at home. Did you try at some point getting them together, try to help them not to forget, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, learning? Because again, it's, it's difficult. 10 months at home, that's a long time. Okay, thanks, Winnie. Mm -hmm. and hello, our viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, I would really want to say first, uh, first and foremost that uh, we want to thank God mm -hmm. for making us close the term peacefully. Yes. You remember that last, oh, last, a lot of last time things were really difficult. Mm -hmm. And I do want to thank teachers mm -hmm. and all the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell you that uh, we really went through a hard time mm. of challenges. And uh, basically, as teachers, uh, let me, before I answer about CSL, mm. let me take you back mm. about really what happened. Mm. Because uh, after the long period, mm. uh, when the students came back, they were not the people, same who, students the same who students you were yes, respecting. You, uh, you could feel like uh, most of them mm. were totally different human beings mm. from the one we were. Yeah. There, was, there are those who came one stigma, stigmatized a lot. Mm. Uh, they had lost their loved ones, yeah. their family members, their neighbors. Mm. There were those who were depressed, mm. and there were those who came up with phobia because uh, they thought they were dying. The mm. world was ending. Mm. You see, the young people, mm -hmm. they could see people dying, so some of them had given up. Mm. And now when they came back, as teachers, uh, we could notice that from the very beginning. Yeah. And uh, what we did as teachers is to realize that these people were not okay. Mm -hmm. And we had now to get out of our ways, not just to teach. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, these students, when they came to us, they realized that they needed somebody or a shoulder to lean on. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the syllabus and the curriculum was pressuring them too much. Yeah. And I remember, as you have said, some of them had forgotten about school. True. And some of them had started even entrepreneurial skills. Mm -hmm. So coming back to school where they're not getting money, mm -hmm. things were difficult. Exactly. Uh, now then, uh, when they came back, mm -hmm. you could see that some of them, they could not handle the pressure. Mm -hmm. Actually, even the teachers, you could not handle the pressure. The mm -hmm. syllabus coverage, the crash programs, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. So now, we are finding ourselves in a situation that now we need to make things back, go back to normal. Yeah. Remember that uh, not all the schools could contain. They were unrest. Mm -hmm. But there were so many other things. Mm -hmm. uh, COVID came up with so many things. Mm -hmm. When there is anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, uh, you could realize that some students uh, rate of getting sick it became high. Not necessarily the COVID-19, mm -hmm. but they got sick. They really got sick. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we can start from there. We were not able to reach them very much because of the, the uh, we were told to, we should stay at home. Mm -hmm. uh, they were not integrating too much. But I feel that we did our best mm -hmm. and uh, we have a long way to go. Okay. Thank you. All right. And Lida, you want to take as far as the mental state of the learners when they went back to school? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, um, the, the, the students, when they were at home for those nine months, mm -hmm. they experienced a lot of issues. Yeah? Mm -hmm. One, there was a um, loss of job for the parents, which really affected children. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they were used to taking bread with brew, but now there isn't. Yeah. Even the, the, the bread is not there. Mm -hmm. um, they have never worked. Mm -hmm. No, therefore, some of them were even forced to do manual work that they have never done. Mm -hmm. and, and they are doing it to get some money in order they got into business, yes. because they have never done that. Mm -hmm. And um, that affected children. Then the, the confinement measures really affected parents. Mm -hmm. And the minute a parent is affected, it runs down to the children. Down, down to the children. Yes, yes. Some, some of them went through a lot of abuse, mm -hmm. physical, psychological, and sexual abuse, mm -hmm. because everybody is confined at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this, this, this parent is not happy with himself, mm -hmm. and therefore everything goes back to the wife, to the children, and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, so the children ran from home to go and take drugs. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of time to watch pornography mm -hmm. and all social media items. Mm -hmm. So when they came back to school, there were issues of suicide mm -hmm. and suicidal thoughts. Yeah. There was also depression. Mm -hmm. There was emotional distress. Mm -hmm. They were disturbed. Mm -hmm. They started fighting. In mm -hmm. fact, there was a lot of fights between children, mm -hmm. form one and form two, in mm -hmm. schools. Mm -hmm. 
form one and form two are fighting. Yeah. Form three and form four are fighting. Yeah. Class like A a and class B, yes. they are fighting. Yeah. There was a lot of, because they are not themselves, mm. there was a lot of questioning of authority. Mm. Because they always question authority. Mm. But this time now it was it too was much. Worse, yeah. And you even realize it was in the news mm -hmm. where they are even beating a teacher. teacher they yes. are killing a teacher. Mm -hmm. A lot of indiscipline. They are running away from school. Mm -hmm. Of course, the school unrest now mm -hmm. comes in. Mm -hmm. They have taken a lot of drugs. They want to be at home to continue taking. Now you are confining them again in school and so on. Mm -hmm. So that one has taken a heavy toll mm -hmm. on schools. Yeah. Yes. And of course, um, for you, Joel, again, um, dealing with youths majority of the times, mm -hmm. and, and especially for, for the, the ones in high school, mm -hmm. you know, where, again, like everyone is saying, they went home and then they grew, <laughs> right? Yeah. Physically, mm -hmm. emotionally, and all those things, right? Yeah. And then getting to confine them back in class and have them stay in school for the entire term, mm -hmm. of course, that's, that's, that's difficult. They want to go out there and explore and be entrepreneurs and all those things. So for the ones that you um, probably have interacted with, mm -hmm. What were they saying? They tell us to do the great things while they are still small <laughs> and the difficult things while they are still easy. Yes. Because the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single, single step. step yeah. yeah. And one of the easiest ways of handling them mm. was to ensure that we are dealing with the low hanging fruits. Mm. Yeah. We always work from the known mm. to the to unknown. The unknown mm. yeah. There are those things that they are accustomed to. Mm. Probably they've been playing a lot, they've been relaxing a lot. Mm. So you don't expect yourself to engage top gear mm -hmm. yeah immediately the schools are open mm -hmm. you want to ensure that there's a very calm atmosphere mm -hmm. whereby they're given a lot of time to interact to socialize mm -hmm. in case there's the counseling department that is there they're given opportunities to ask any kind of question mm -hmm. or even interact with their peers mm -hmm. just to give feedback with regard to exactly what happened mm -hmm. yeah and the moment that one happens then they're able to acclimatize they're able to at least uh, start warming up to the new term mm -hmm. and of course once that happens then it becomes very easy for them to become psychologically prepared mm -hmm. for for all this mm -hmm. and we thank our teachers because i want to believe they they did it so well mm -hmm. because it, were it not for the smooth transition from the long holiday to this academic year mm -hmm. then it would have been a lot worse yeah. yeah so we expect that in due course of this holiday probably we are going to pick lessons from what happened last time mm -hmm. so that as parents, as teachers, and even as students, mm -hmm. we're going to ensure that we're well prepared for mm -hmm. how we're going to handle these seven weeks. It's not so, such a short no, time. No, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. long time. Mm -hmm. But of course, not as long as, as the 10 months that they were at home. I also yeah. want to believe that you're parents, right? Aside yeah. from just being teachers, yeah. you're also parents. <laughs> Was it easy for you because you're a bit, you know your teachers, so you know how you can handle you know, your children when they were at home, Lydia? Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, children at home. Okay. Mine are grown. Ah, up. they are grown. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But 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 uh, because of interacting with the parents yeah. and because I'm a counselor, mm -hmm. I dealt with so many children. Mm -hmm. I was open throughout mm -hmm. doing counseling work. Oh wow. And children, parents were bringing children because the this one has attempted suicide, mm -hmm. and they are wondering why is my son attempting suicide? Why is my daughter attempting suicide? Mm -hmm. So I was able to interact with parents and children during the whole of that that that, that ten months, mm -hmm. and I was able to know what was happening at home, mm -hmm. because especially the confinement measures they really brought a lot of issues, mm -hmm. and especially when the father has lost the job. Yeah and has come back home. Mm -hmm. And the children really suffered. Mm -hmm. They were abused, they were mm -hmm. beaten, they were done what? Mm -hmm. And then they would react by committing suicide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would get very many calls even from children because I go to very many schools mm -hmm. and they ask for my number. Mm -hmm. So I'll get calls from children and they're telling me I want to commit suicide or I have run away from home and I don't know where I'm going. Okay. So I will intervene in the process and I would ask them to give me the number of the parent. Mm -hmm. Then I will call the parent and tell the parent, your daughter is running away or your daughter is in such and such a, a place. Yeah. Sometimes we had even to involve the, the chief mm -hmm. just on phone because remember there was also no movement. Mm -hmm. So on phone, and um, the, I, I, I would tell the child to give me a number of the parent and all that. And some of them I would even threaten them. I'm going to the social worker. Oh, because wow. they were also abandoning children. Yes. So that is what the children, the children suffered from. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot, there were a lot of issues. There were a lot of fights between the parents that makes a child feel they have something to do with, with the yes, fights. They have, actually, they blame themselves. Mm -hmm. The children blame themselves. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of that blame that mm -hmm. I'm the one who is causing that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And I think I have not done research, but from what I've been dealing with, mm -hmm. divorce and separation was the order of the day. Mm -hmm. And those children really got affected. And yeah. we are still dealing with them even, even now. Even now. Okay. Uh, so, and then others would ask, how am I, how am I going to handle these children? Yeah. And uh, the good thing is that the parent was at home. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, even when the parent was at home, so many working. bad things were happening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and also most of them were working. Again, remember yeah, the other aspect of working. working. Yes, exactly, yeah. working from home. So yeah. really you're home, but you're not home <laughs> at the same time. And even yeah. working from home yeah. with children, it's not easy. It's not easy. And especially when you have easy. small children because yes. they are disturbing, you don't know what to deal with them. So you're also equally stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so many parents got so stressed because they have small children and yeah. they are working mm -hmm. and so on. The only child I interacted with was my grandson who mm. was uh, about three years mm. old. So, and uh, he would come for one week then go back home. Yeah, so yeah. you did really have and, like a lot of uh, And I was enjoying, that yes. one I was enjoying. Yes. yes, you did have so much. I All right, you know with like a young child, school going child at yeah. home, how was, how was it for, for you, anyone? No? Okay, all right. So, but as far as then, teaching is concerned because when they went back to school of course teachers had a lot in terms of not only being teachers but also stretching to somewhat be like parents um, for them so do you want to take that uh, Nelson as far as the role that teachers played in ensuring that yes in as much as this learners are back to school and they're different yeah but try as much as possible to also just bring them in line to make sure that you know I, I think in just a few words yes teachers were the unsung heroes, <laughs> even right now. Even right now. Because mm. uh, as I was saying, mm. uh, for the 11 years I've been teaching, mm. I have never taken students to hospital like I've done this year. Mm. Actually, we have even become members and friends of the hospital. Oh, we are known everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> because <the> students <laughs> are getting sick yeah. mm. uh, all the time. Yes. I have I've attended so many funerals mm. last mm. year. Mm. And not from my family, just our students losing Parents, parents losing yeah. brothers mm -hmm. it has and so we have gone out of our ways mm -hmm. working at night you remember during the unrest as mm -hmm. much as not all schools were burning mm -hmm. all the teachers the boarding teachers we were alert all the time mm -hmm. uh, making sure that the students have slept past midnight we are mm -hmm. going around waking up very early making sure that the school is okay mm -hmm. and you remember that uh, we could not just sit there and wait mm -hmm. so a lot was going on mm -hmm. so we do all these things when the parent are at home sleeping. Mm -hmm. So some of them think that uh, when they pay school fees, that is all. Mm -hmm. yeah. But to, there is a lot to mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. Teachers are doing so much, are behind their back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm telling you that uh, if the, my madam can tell you mm -hmm. that uh, they share a lot of information with us, uh, things that they cannot even tell their parents. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you are in a dilemma because they tell us that, uh, uh, teacher, I have something to tell you, but to promise Please me that you're not going to tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, and the issues they are bringing up there are really issues that sometimes you find sleepless night thinking about your students. Mm. How are they going through this? Mm. Because even as a teacher, given a, such a situation, mm. also you cannot be able to stand. Yeah. They are going through a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of them have chronic ailments. You, ha you have to make sure that uh, they are taking medicine. Mm. Some of them, they cannot be able to procure that medicine to get them. You have to get out of your way, mm -hmm. go to the chemists, go to the hospitals. Mm -hmm. So teachers are doing a lot. Mm -hmm. And they have found friends. Do, uh, if you remember during our times, teachers were symbols of power and authority. We mm -hmm. used to fear them, actually even interacting with them, mm -hmm. even being called by a teacher, you start trembling. Yeah. It is not happening anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't punish our students anymore. Mm -hmm. They have found friend in us. Actually, they find shoulders to lean on. They like us, we like them. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are asking today, are our students safe at home? Because mm -hmm. they feel safer with us. And uh, mm -hmm. this is a business, a serious business. Mm -hmm. I have given you your child yesterday and today. We are giving them our, ch our children. Mm -hmm and our students. Yes. We want them back the way they are. Mm -hmm. If they cannot do any better, we don't want them to retract back. Because that is what happened during that long break. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is what exactly we want. Mm -hmm. Maintain the, the morale mm -hmm. and, and what we have done. Yes. Or if you cannot do that, go just a step higher. Mm -hmm. But please, Let's not go back to the unrest. Mm -hmm. Let's not go back to where we have come from. Okay, yes. all right. Maybe I can add something, Winnie. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm in charge of the guidance and counseling department. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing that we did was to offer psychosocial support okay. to the children. Mm -hmm. And um, we did that by first of all offering it to the teachers. Because mm -hmm. we are forgetting that whatever the parent was going through, mm -hmm. the teacher was also going through. Mm -hmm. 
So the mm -hmm. teachers also suffered in the process, confinement and the like. And um, therefore, we and maybe my husband as a teacher loses a job or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. Uh, so we did psychosocial support to teachers first, but now we set to them down mm -hmm. so that now they can give the psychosocial support to the children. Mm -hmm. And we learned so much. During the psychosocial support, we learned so much. Mm -hmm. And that brings in now psychological debriefing because so many of them had lost, not just loss of death, mm -hmm. but the minute a parent loses a job, of it is, it's loss. Yes. So there was, the, then others who were, were taken from Nairobi to the village, mm -hmm. and that's where they were living. Mm -hmm. And it's another loss, yeah. relocation, mm -hmm. it's also loss. Mm -hmm. And so many of them, so we, we did psychological debriefing and were able to get a lot of issues, mm -hmm. stigma and discrimination, mm -hmm. a lot of issues. We had to emphasize on the teaching of life skills mm -hmm. because they have to cope. Yeah with the issues. Mm -hmm. We had to encourage them to go for individual counseling and we did a lot of individual counseling mm -hmm. and we also encouraged them. We also sent some of them outside for individual counseling mm -hmm. where, where, where it was viewed as especially when it comes to depressive illnesses. Mm -hmm. uh, we sent them to clinical psychologists. Mm -hmm. So that was the role of the teacher now after okay. they came back they came until back we to settled them. them. Okay. And we did a lot of counseling and a lot of guiding. For the teachers? With, yes. and, and the for the teachers well. and for them. So the students, learners for the learners. Yeah. So we settled them. Okay. Now I'm wondering what is going to happen. In seven <laughs> it's like all of you are nervous. You're like, yes. we have done so much. so much. It's making sure that these yes. learners are yeah. okay yeah. mentally, physically, emotionally yes. while they were in school. And yeah. now that they're going home, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Because yeah. again, the parents are very busy. Um, and of course, we all know this calendar, um, you know, that's the, the school calendar. Yeah. It was so much because it was like one week break and then go back to school. There's school fees that you need to pay. Like there's, there was no break for the parents. Um, and of course, I just want to ask you, uh, come out in terms of then so for the parents do you also sometimes maybe try talk to the parents get to understand where they are at because in as much as yes the students also experienced loss but the parents did you know mm -hmm. equally the same if not worse uh, in my practice I think uh, I interact with parents and mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you after after the schools resumed mm -hmm. that is uh, after the COVID break and all that uh, mm -hmm. uh, Based, even uh, putting in mind the current economic status yes. and the inflation rate, mm -hmm. uh, remembering that most parents lost their jobs, mm -hmm. business collapsed, they are still in recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you that uh, parents are still uh, stressed. Mm -hmm. And now that's why, even as, as teachers are, are telling us, mm -hmm. we want our children <laughs> back yes. as we have given you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Remember, it's a wrong break. Mm -hmm. Uh, the economic situation is not that, that, that's, that's not that pocket friendly to the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, when these kids are at home, mm -hmm. the budget you have to definitely go high. Yes. Okay, the parent has moving on now, uh, thinking of what is next. Mm -hmm. Okay, this parent has to sustain their families. Yeah. They have to uh, get enough finances to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, as teachers are saying, mm -hmm. raising a child, mm -hmm. we talk of a three pillar. It's a three pillar. Talk of a, a pot mm -hmm. that can be can can be, can be supported by three stones. Mm -hmm. We have the teachers, we have the parent, and we have the child themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. probably talking of the parent because when when you look at an individual, you are not who you are probably just because of your teachers. No, it's a they are, it's a, a, a correct a correction of factors mm -hmm. put together that makes you who you who, who you, you are. are. Yeah, but I think uh, as far as as long as the economy, probably the economy is not that friendly to us, mm. you also have to remember that we have a responsibility in raising our children, mm. okay? Mm. And uh, I interact with college students because I also work with a, with a college, mm. and uh, I've realized uh, so there, there, are, there are what you call parenting gaps that uh, students, as teachers are saying, mm. they, they come and share. open up to us and share mm. yeah. and uh, wish that mm. they would have somebody. Mm. Uh, they even, even come and confess. I've mm. never had a, 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 I've never been in a position to share as I've shared, okay? Oh, wow. And I, I think parents need to realize that the world, uh, times have changed. During our times growing up, mm -hmm. it was just a matter of a look. <laughs> That's yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Just a communication. I'm a communicate. I'm communicate. I heard of somebody mm -hmm. saying, did you get him to talk to me back? I said, So times have changed. Yeah. I think one of the things that parents have to do is to address, uh, I, 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 talking of the gaps that uh, these, these students raise. Mm -hmm. One is the lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. When you look at the, develop, the developmental stages, yeah. 
the stages of children who are probably above 12 years. We talk of seven years, mm -hmm. they know what is right and what is wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. But a child above that, mm -hmm. they not only know what is, uh, what is right and what is wrong, mm -hmm. but they also know the consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So they have to understand that their children also, they have an idea of whatever they could be indulging or involving themselves in. Mm -hmm. So it is very important, it doesn't matter if it's a vice or a value. Mm -hmm. Coming to understand your child is very important. Okay. Even if, uh, I've even heard of stories that a girl got pregnant in form two, mm -hmm. but because of the support they got from their dad, mm -hmm. they were able even to go back to proceed and even uh, yes. proceed their university education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we also at the same time, we, we understand who, their parents who send away their children. Yes. So I, I think understanding is one of, one of the factors that mm -hmm. parents need. need. Number okay. two, mm -hmm. Uh, they need to listen to their, to the, to their child. Right. I think the, we are in the 21st century, and mm -hmm. I think there is a topic we teach parenting in the 21st century, mm -hmm. and a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. In the past, during our times growing up, it was like there, 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 is, there, is, there was a list of, of values, there was a list of rules that you had to follow. Oh, yes. But nowadays, remember our children are, are interacting with, when you talk of family systems, there are, there are various family systems, mm -hmm. whereby there are some family systems whereby uh, it's the, the children who say, mm -hmm. uh, psychologically mm -hmm. it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. it's, it depends on how you choose, which family system uh, right. to choose. Yeah. So coming from that, probably your children are interacting with mine, mm -hmm. and from, from my family, they are the ones who decide what to do. Okay. From, your, from your side, you are the, the one who makes the rules. So do. when these two, yes. two, two, two kids come together, mm -hmm. They fail to understand why is it that my, my mom has got so many rules mm -hmm. and I'm the one and who makes rules at home. <laughs> you know, there has to be that balance now. Absolutely. Okay? That's, That's what I'm talking of. Way. Rather than just setting the rules, fanya hivi, fanya hivi, fanya hivi, mm. you need to make your child understand. Okay. Why should you do this? Why should you not do this? Mm. Okay? Their point uh, is what you talk of. You know, we, parents have to work. Sure. Mm. Okay? I, mean, I left at yeah. home before even children woke up. Mm. Okay, probably go back because after this I'm, I'm, I'm proceeding to work. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll probably go, go, to, go to home, I'll go yeah. get home yeah. tired. Yeah. There is what you call time. Yeah. There is a difference between quantity and, and quality. quality. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, when, when you talk of parenting, uh, we, even teachers, other teachers complain, yeah. even uh, uh, that parents don't spend their time with, uh, their with time with children. Mm. There's a difference between spending time and quantity time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? You, I think tactics have changed. You have to be effective. Mm -hmm. Probably you have been away for a week, mm -hmm. but you can spend uh, probably just a Saturday or a weekend with your child okay. and be more effective than a parent who is there from Monday to Saturday with their child. And not, okay? and not really it depends on how, what, what do you spend. When you spend quite the time with mm -hmm. them, what probably you can even take out the, them out for swimming. Yeah. Probably if you don't have access to such, such resources mm -hmm. or facilities, mm -hmm. you can have a walk in the bush. If you're, you're probably going to be like a boozy, go and talk to, you, go and talk to your talk son. To yeah. 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 Tell them uh, for a man, for a boy, you don't do this and mm. this and that. This, okay? yes. You are more better than a parent who is there Monday mm. to Sunday. But everybody worry. comes home yeah. drunk, don't yeah. even yeah. speak to the child. Mm. And you know, when you talk of these, uh, of these stages, that's what I'm talking of understanding. Mm. These children are at a stage whereby, even when you're at home with them, mm. they will not be seated just rush to the well, bedroom. To the bedroom. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you see, think, you need to understand yeah. mm -hmm. that the, the phase and the stage that they are at. Okay, and yeah. I think mm -hmm. the, the biggest thing for most parents mm -hmm. is balance. And then yeah. how do I, when do I start, first of all, to engage my children? At what age is appropriate? And how? Because in Tapata, most of these parents, they did not have some of these conversations with their parents. Mm -hmm. And you see, you cannot give what you do not have. So mm -hmm. some are like, uh, so how? Because it, it can be like a very awkward conversation mm -hmm. to yeah. have, you know, yeah. with your learners. And before you mm -hmm. answer, that yeah. clearly there is a problem Joel because now understanding all those gaps that mm -hmm. is between parents and their children and how they communicate and and even to hear the teachers say listen the children come and tell us things that they've never ever shared with anyone and ask the teachers to keep it mm -hmm. to themselves and not share even with a parent right so that means there's a problem especially when it comes to parents and how they interact with their with their children mm -hmm. right yeah. what are some of the factors that then lead to this conflict in terms of I cannot tell my parent anything, uh -huh. but I can trust the teacher. Mm -hmm. They tell us that negative feedback always puts us on the defensive. Mm -hmm. I practice as a life coach, mm -hmm. and I've had several inc incidences whereby parents refer their children to me, mm -hmm. and even currently I'm working with so many. And there's an incident I had around two years ago mm -hmm. whereby a certain um, gentleman is around 23 24 years of age mm -hmm. uh, he ran away from home 
I got a house in the slums where I was paying around a thousand shillings. And this is a child from a very well, well-to-do family mm -hmm. uh, living, living in the leafy suburbs. Mm -hmm. And of course, the parents were a bit worried with regard to exactly what is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, the friend, the guy got entangled into some uh, toxic relationship with a lady on social media, Facebook. And they started practicing evil things, drugs and sex without protection, all those evil mm -hmm. manner of things. Mm -hmm. And he went to his parents and told them, I want to marry this girl. Mm -hmm. The girl was also in Illuminati, yeah? Okay. And he was just about to be sacrificed. And right. the parents could see all this, but the guy could not see. He was in college, around 23, 24 years of age. Mm -hmm. And they called me when he was just about to commit suicide, mm -hmm. somehow we managed to connect with the guy, mm -hmm. and we had l several uh, life coaching sessions. Mm -hmm. And in one of the sessions, I tried to inquire, what happened? How come you've gotten yourself at this point? Yeah. And he tells me that unless he's given the go-ahead to marry this girl that they met on social media, he is not going to leave. I mean, he, he would rather commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And working backwards, I came to the realization that uh, this gentleman or this man mm -hmm. or this boy mm -hmm. uh, got into a wrong side of relationship with his dad at the age of around uh, eight years old. Mm -hmm. At the age of eight, he was in one of the group of schools that we have in the nation. Uh, his dad found him doing some bit of artwork. Mm -hmm. He was very good in arts, yeah. He had done some nice drawings, and his dad was very arrogant at him, beat him up, told him, you're supposed to be doing your homework. I mean, mm -hmm. you're wasting too much time here mm -hmm. with your drawings. Okay. Took the photos, uh, pictures, uh, cut them into pieces, threw them aside. Mm -hmm. And from that day, the boy developed a wall against the father. Mm -hmm. I'm told that high school, he spent around six to seven years, yeah, oh. moving from one school to the other and he developed a very cold heart towards mm -hmm. the parents mm -hmm. and the long and short of it after almost uh, three months of life coaching I, I i celebrated the day when the dad was sitting here and the son was sitting here and he started going back the memory line mm -hmm. and of course the the father uh, was informed by the son the kind of things that caused him to live that mm -hmm. bad life mm -hmm. and he apologized the son also apologized they shook hands and today they are living a very good life mm -hmm. And that's not the only incidence, but mm -hmm. the only thing that I've come to realize is that on most occasions as parents, mm -hmm. we want to work so hard to make sure that you're providing you for these for children. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to earn that one million, that mm -hmm. 500,000. You want to take them for holidays. Mm -hmm. And when they go for holidays, you let them swim and you go do your things, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you don't have quality time, just as my colleague uh, earlier on alluded to. Mm -hmm. So if you don't create time for that child, you don't befriend them, mm -hmm. then it's going to be very hard for them to open to you. Yeah. So it's not just about you Providing, giving them the money sure they have shelter, and giving clothes, them everything, the yes. clothes, the shelter, mm -hmm. but it's up to you making sure that you befriend them, you create quality time for them. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it before they get to high school, then it's almost a, a done deal. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very a big task mm -hmm. for you to try to bring them back. Okay. They tell us that leadership knows no vacuum. Mm -hmm. So if as a parent I don't step in and guide my child in, in the ways that they ought to go, then someone else is going to step out there and do mm -hmm. it. So how good are we as confidence yeah. when they come and tell us that this and this happened or they have made a mistake in school or something has happened that is not right, mm -hmm. how do we react to them? Are okay. we those people who are always looking forward to punishing <laughs> them, shouting yeah. and screaming at them? Yeah. So we are creating that wall by always pushing them to the defensive, giving them negative feedback, mm -hmm. then it's going to be very hard for them to, to bring them, to, yeah, and to trust to, you as to a parent, to just open up. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take a break, but of course when we come back, we'd also want to understand, so fine, so then how, oh, yeah, how will parents then strike this balance in terms of, yes, I'm a parent, but I'm also a friend mm -hmm. to you, right? Mm -hmm. In that you can always come and tell me anything, that you don't really have to go to the teachers and tell them, please do not tell my parent, you know? Because yeah. that, of course, also creates a rift between yeah. the learner and, and the parent, mm -hmm. and they trust more on the teacher. But the teacher is not always with the child in yeah. terms of like, you know? So then mm -hmm. what role does, um, how do parents then come in? So if you are a parent watching us and thinking, hey, okay, so what do we do with this learners? Mm -hmm. Feel free to call us, then I was down on your screen, if you want to interact with us on our social media, then feel free to do so at MTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore. We need still have more to cover as far as the impact of the long holidays on learners and the parents as well as the teachers. So you do not want to miss the second part of this conversation. Stay with us.
mwaku umestawi katika uwazi. Tusirudi nyuma. Welcome back to Ladies Silver. That's the show is your world. And today it's all about the impact of the long holidays on learners. And I want to hear from the parents today as far as fine. So the learners are coming back home. Uh, do you know what to do with them? Are you prepared to keep them engaged? Do you have like something in plan to just making sure that they're not staying at home idle? Because we've heard from the teachers that, you know, during the period when, when they were at home for 10 months, of course, you know, those those are lots that really, really happened, right? And they went back to school, not the same learners that they left. So now that they are about to stay home for seven weeks, okay, the teachers are like, please make sure that you bring us the learners the same way that we uh, bring them home. So I want to hear from the teachers as far as, so then what kinds of learners or these children that are going back home, even as we are about to talk about balance and how the parents then balance, make sure that yes, you're a parent, but also you're a friend to your child, mm -hmm. but just help the parents know what kind of learners should they be expecting or are they expecting? A good question. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, three types of learners left okay. yesterday right. and those who are leaving. Yeah. Because uh, there are learners who I got to go home. Mm -hmm. They were tired. Mm, yes. The curriculum. Oh, it was the heavy. syllabus coverage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. They just wanted to do the exam and leave. And go home. Remember, that was that time. Mm. There were no games, no curric curricular activities, no drama, no music. Yes. Just reading, waking yeah. up very early, mm. and trying to cover the syllabus. Mm. A lot was done. Mm. They were they had been pressurized a lot. Mm. So there are those students that wanted to leave. Okay. So very early in the morning, all they wanted is to pick their bags and leave. Okay. We have other types of students, and uh, they came to us. They were reluctant to go home. Mm. And uh, the question is, why should a student feel safer in, in school, school than in at school, yeah, but at home? Mm. So there are some factors that we should consider. Mm. Like now, as I have seen, uh, you have read the news, mm. there's a student who was killed in mm. a battery attack. Yeah. Why should a student who lives in, in that areas, environment yeah. go feel or want to go there? Mm. We, uh, there are some parents now from today, they have seen cheap labor. Mm. Yeah, and now they are planning. The, time, the mm -hmm. timetable is there now. <laughs> Five acres of land has, has to be. <laughs> so there are those students who would come to us and ask us if, they, if, if we can, can hold them in this course. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many factors. Mm -hmm. But uh, some of them, they have basic facts. Mm -hmm. So it's good you listen to them. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have these types of learners. I think uh, they are well oriented. Mm -hmm. So before they left, they wanted to be guided. And they were asking. Not that we are going for seven weeks. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of idle time. Mm -hmm. What are we supposed to do with it? Yes. And uh, we, also, we are also talking about an era of where there's peer influence. Mm -hmm. Some of them are wary mm -hmm. that when I go home, I live in this estate, and every estate has its clique mm -hmm. and its gang and the way they do things. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are, they are always told that uh, for you to be in this estate, there are some things you should do. You Parents are not aware about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is that lifestyle, an estate and a village, mm -hmm. and some students feel like uh, they are coerced to do that. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, immorality mm -hmm. uh, in, in with us. We, I think we, it's something that we should talk openly. Mm -hmm. And some students feel like uh, they are prone to it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. students uh, this time, uh, those who left, they really wanted to, to be guided. Mm -hmm. And they are worried. And the reason why they are worried, one, it is because when they go out there, they are going to find depressed parents. Mm -hmm. we, that, as we have said, mm -hmm. we have parents who are already depressed. Not the students, the parents the themselves. Parents themselves yeah. Life is hard. Mm -hmm. High cost of living. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot just oppose mm -hmm. student and food. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. parents already can feel the burden. Mm -hmm. So we are also talking about the political waves. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, st students from either some certain ethnic places mm -hmm. feel like they are not safe at home. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, when you tell them to go home, they feel like they don't mm -hmm. want to go. We have also some things like external uh, vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. Students who feel like uh, they are going home to blended families, mm -hmm. they are going home to meet another mother, mm -hmm. not their, mm -hmm. not their, their, their real mother. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, they are going to tell them that uh, the marriage conflict. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. they are going home, they know that uh, maybe my parents are not in terms. Mm -hmm. they are, a student came to me and told me that uh, he's a candidate, mm -hmm. actually he's a candidate, mm -hmm. and you find them telling you that my parents are divorcing at this time. Oh. So I'm wondering, oh. why yeah. did they wait for all that mm -hmm. time? Why are they divorcing just when the boy is about to say this? So the boy you could feel he was mentally not okay. Yeah. So there are some external things. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like now I know there are some parents who are waiting for their students to go to the village, mm -hmm. to go to their grandmother places, to their mm -hmm. uncles. But I can tell you, that is where problem start okay. because you're going to find that uh, most of them open up and say their first harassment sexual harassment yeah it's all from uh, their relatives yeah, yeah. Uh, from their cousins mm. and uh, so but when we, those people we really trust parents trust are the ones who come to bite, bite them later mm. so uh their students who really feel like also they are not okay the environment is mm. not okay mm. Yeah, mm. so that is what we should handle, and yeah. I think uh, we are going to have give them so, so solutions mm -hmm. so that parents are aware yeah. that uh, children are really watching, mm -hmm. they are really seeing, mm -hmm. and uh, they have eyes and they have ears. Mm -hmm. They can notice a home that is not well, yeah. they can feel that parents who are not in good terms, mm -hmm. so let's give them something to look forward to come home to. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And it's just sad when you hear um, you know, such things. And again, we, we cannot forget that parents are human beings, and yeah. of course they go through more or less the same challenges everyone else so sometimes it might be out of their control there's some things that they cannot control but of course they've also done well in terms of raising their children and of course we'll also focus on that um not just to uh, criticize the parents be like <laughs> you left everything yeah, yeah. to the teachers yeah, right yeah. um but lydia yes. again right now we're going into you know it's it's the electioneering period yes and a lot is happening you know the campaigns what we're seeing on tv there's a lot of you know um insults and hate speech and all those things and we've seen also a number of youth being used um you know in in different ways right just take us through how this will have an impact on the learners because again they're coming home in a time where you know the campaign says <laughs> mishika moto and i thank you so much for that question mm. and um you see the kind of violence that we have experienced in schools. Mm. It's a reflection of the society. Because okay. that's what they are seeing in the society. That's what they are seeing in the society. Mm. And now it is going to be worse with the campaign. Mm -hmm. And especially when there is a lot of abusive language mm -hmm. being used. Mm -hmm. Of course, children run what they live. Mm -hmm. So they are seeing what is happening. They are watching on uh, television. They are going for those. They will go for those rallies oh, themselves. Absolutely. Yes. And they will listen to the campaign messages mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And they are going to run very negative things. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, what children run is what they are going to produce. Mm -hmm. So if we are not careful in uh, our speeches and our campaign and all that, mm -hmm. we are going to have another wave of violence, mm -hmm. another wave of fighting, mm -hmm. another wave of indiscipline mm -hmm. because children are running from us. Mm -hmm. And um, same with the parent, because mm -hmm. if the parents are doing the same, the parents are fighting at home and uh, they are abusing each other, mm -hmm. the same case, the child will behave exactly the same way mm -hmm. uh, for those that will really glorify that mm -hmm. but for others will behave differently mm -hmm. and they'll go into depression because they cannot express it they can't fight but yeah. now they they don't know what to do with themselves okay. so i think we need to be a bit careful mm -hmm. the society mm -hmm. the whole society now mm -hmm. on how we go about it mm -hmm. Uh, because it's going to, we are, we are going to experience another wave of violence because yes. we are going to run violence and hate speech and mm -hmm. abusive language and all that and children are watching yeah. and they are going to do exactly what we are doing. Yeah, and yes. come back to school with the, with the same. The you same, know? yes. Right? And that's, they are going to practice it in school now. Mm -hmm. And the more we, we, we come up with the especially uh, issues of tribalism, mm -hmm we are going to experience again in school because remember these schools we are mixed oh yeah and no wonder there is that fear of in fact some parents have that fear of i want to remove my child from this county mm -hmm. because of campaign period yeah is the child aware 
that the parents want to remove them mm -hmm. from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, if, if the child is removed because we are fearing there's going to be violence or mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. the child is going to be relocated. That's another issue. Exactly. exactly. And maybe he was not consulted. Uh, yeah, and then start afresh, start forming new friendships, yeah. start Amai, trusting people. And you come, and yes. you know that issue of newcomer it mm -hmm. really depresses children mm -hmm. but on the other hand why is the parent doing that because of the nature mm -hmm. of the politics that is mm -hmm. that, that that we are going to engage in yeah. so my children are not safe in this county mm -hmm. i would like to remove them from this county to this county yeah. and 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 uh, in the process we are also creating some hatred mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. yeah all right and mm -hmm. also i mean as parents we understand there's some who in as much as the learners would also want to go for this rally we also have some parents who might also want to go for these rallies and get themselves whatever you know yeah because they, they also want, again, like we said, times are difficult. Some of them were like, ah, you can't go to Italy. Maybe you can 500, <laughs> you know, 200 to get up from a family. Of course. They mm. also, they, they, are, they are part, we, we, we are all part of it. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So even the parents will attend the rallies and the, like, the children will also do the same. Yeah. Of course, the parents will also talk. Oh, in absolutely. the house, yes, yes, you know, about we shall watch stuff on uh, on uh, on TV. Yeah. This politician is saying this, and yeah. we are commenting about it. And the children are oh, hearing; yes. they are even participating in, in our same. comment. Yeah. And we are going to see it in school. Okay, yes, Nelson, and especially yeah. towards the end of the year. Yes, yes. Okay, so yeah. uh, we call it political psychophancy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and let's not forget that we also have parents who will be vying and campaigning for oh, the seat. Yeah. and uh, you see. Uh, these students are tensed to see if their parents will do what, really? and uh, yeah. it means a lot to them because it will boost their egos. If their parents uh, fail, mm. the students definitely he becomes course, a loving yeah. stock. Yeah. So, and also we find that uh, there are some parents who will follow uh, politicians from Nakuru to Mombasa, yeah. from mm. Mombasa to Mayale, mm. or, and all, all this time, mm -hmm. where is your child? Mm. Where is your child? You are playing with who? So let's not trust people so much. Mm. Uh, we had, last yesterday we had a case mm. of a, a lady in Mombasa who a uh, house help actually, mm. who was arrested for life yes. for yeah, for defiling a four years old. Life. So yes. let parents know that uh, uh, these students <coughs> need time. Mm. The children need time with them. Yeah. For the seven week they can relax a bit mm. and pause a bit. Okay. Uh, let them bond with their children a little bit, mm. and then. Uh, yeah, they will continue after the seven months okay. because we will have taken back seven our and, and by that mm -hmm. we are just asking for leniency. Okay. Let them just a little time, give their student a little time, mm -hmm. concentrate on their children mm -hmm. and do more. Mm -hmm. and lastly, I would also want to say that uh, we are banking so much on the religious leaders. Mm -hmm. We would want them, uh, students and me, actually some, uh, some students who are aware that uh, mm -hmm. we had such a, uh, they told me, let our parents know that uh, we have really recovered a lot in terms of school. Mm. They, I, I, I would plead with the parents, mm -hmm. as much as you want them to perform, give them free time. Let them at least have some time to refresh. Okay. Remember, from May when now they come back, yeah. th there will be no other breaks. Yeah. It yes. will just be five days, and then, then mm -hmm. uh, another term. To, then we have three terms days. from yes. May to mm -hmm. December. Exactly. So this is not the time now, now to, uh, to collude them and hide the them in kai books. Kai your homework. Mm. Yes, kai yes. Kai no, this is not the time. Yeah. Let them read a bit. Mm -hmm then let them refresh. Mm -hmm. The religious leaders should come up with a camping mm -hmm. retreats mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Let them have someone that are well oriented to feed, uh, treat them mm -hmm. so that uh, these students don't lose focus. Okay. But uh, I know so many students, they fear going home because they feel like even if they go home, it's another jail of learning and reading. Okay, yes. because it's like, yo, the education, I mean, the, the calendar is very tight. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to catch up, you know, so that by the time you go back to school, mm -hmm. even if it's, it's, it's like a crash program, mm -hmm. sort of, mm -hmm. you, you are in a, in a better place. You talked about two uh, kinds of students, the ones who are eager to go home and the ones who are a bit hesitant. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I also want to know, are there other students who are like, me, I'm not going home. I do not want to go home. I'd rather stay in school, you know, and, and not go home at all. Yeah, we have type of mm -hmm. such students. Mm -hmm. And one of them, as we started by saying that uh, they have not bonded really well with their parents. Right, yeah. And some of them, they are living with, sorry to say, cruel stepmothers, mm. stepfathers. Step mm. uh, they feel like when they go there, they are treated, they are not treated as members of the family. Mm. We also have those ones who are orphans. Mm -hmm. They are dumped. Today you're going to visit a certain aunt. Mm. This time you're going to your grandmother. They are not stable. Mm. So actually, 
they don't even know where they are going. They have to be guided. Today you are going to this family. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel like they are part of that. Mm -hmm. Then if you have also talked about the, those areas, uh, you find that students are really not appreciated mm -hmm. in terms of performance. Mm -hmm. You see your brother got an A, mm -hmm. you got a D. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to show the society? Okay. So that he knows when he goes home, mm -hmm. he's going to be reprimanded. Mm -hmm. So these students feel like I prefer being in school mm -hmm. because I can hide in the multitude. Mm -hmm. But when they go home, their weaknesses are always in. So mm -hmm. I think these students have that issue of going home. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. not forget about those one about uh, hostile places. Mm -hmm. You find that mm -hmm. they know they are going to be used to fight. They are also going to be uh, the place, the environment is not okay. Mm -hmm. We also have those students where the fathers are of indulging with alcoholism, mm -hmm. their parents. How do you feel? They are students, especially mothers, and I'm going to appeal them. Mm -hmm. This is not time to take alcohol and drink. Mm -hmm. They really affect especially the boy child. Okay. They don't want to see their mother okay. taking alcohol. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, at this duration, please, I'm asking parents to be teetollers a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let the children see. They learn from your example. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, but then again, again, come out listening mm -hmm. to, to what the teachers are saying as far as how the students feel about mm -hmm going back home yeah. should parents be concerned yeah, yeah they should yeah because uh, I, I think the as many may say it mm. uh, and i want to appreciate the teachers who are made a home away from home mm. such that uh, a child feels that they would rather be that, that at home that they call school mm. and the other home that, that is a real home mm. parents should be concerned yeah. this is why we are saying that uh, there should be a change of mindset or the approach that we are using mm. when it comes to how we are we are boarding and revenging with our children mm -hmm. so the point uh, it should be a huge concern to parents mm -hmm. and probably adapt to the changes that have come mm -hmm. and talking of boarding with a child a number of things need to happen okay. as a parent number one you have to understand your child as we said mm -hmm. and i think this competition begins and when you you have a three-year-old and a, another two months mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, oh, yes. that competition begins. Yes, yes, you need yes, to understand yes, that yes. your children are different. Mm -hmm. the, same, the same competition proceeds in high school. One mm -hmm. is in university, another mm -hmm. one is in, uh, in Form 1, probably mm -hmm. producing a D minus. Yeah. Another one is in university. No, no, brother, I'm university. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that your children are differently abled. Yes. They are gifted differently. differently. So you need to handle a child, handle child A as child A. When you go to child B, handle them as they are. Okay. okay? The other thing is appreciate the little, little progress that they make. Mm. Uh, probably you, you keep on saying, I, I once met a child, mm. uh, a student who told me, mm. maybe Baba got in a beer, mm. he got a B plus, he got a B Actually, they don't even talk. <laughs> the child is still, is producing a C minus, but he is so working hard to produce a B, a B so that yes. he can talk to them. The Parents need to understand success, even those people who have succeeded, it's accumulation of little successes. Yes. You need to appreciate the little progress that the child makes. Mm -hmm. If he is at a deep rush, when he brings a C minus, mm -hmm. probably take them out and buy them chicken for that mm -hmm. improvement. Mm -hmm. and next time, you will realize a C plus and progressively yes. they will get you what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You also understand that uh, I'm making that progress. Mm -hmm. But the moment a child works so hard, mm -hmm. he improves from a C minus, probably to, to a C plus, and you still want an A, yeah. you, you end up discouraging them oh, because you're not, you mm -hmm. not appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the other thing is about, is about boarding with a child mm -hmm. is uh, how you correct your child. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, there's a difference between creating fear and respect. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I keep on telling students you should respect your, your parents and teachers, mm -hmm. not fear them. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of doing this. I won't do this because I'm afraid of my dad. Mm -hmm. I won't do this because I'm afraid of my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, how do you correct your child? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, some of us, some of the, as, as teacher said, mm -hmm. some of them are even said, I can't go be no siabi babago, siabi mamago. Why? Mm -hmm. Because there is fear. That's when you understand mm -hmm. there is that fear. Mm -hmm. And as you had asked, boarding begins as as are actually it should start today. Okay. Before we boarding with your child, <laughs> yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. you start the today. process of boarding with your child. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Uh, appreciate, if probably don't uh, say good morning, mm. start with a good morning, mm. my okay. daughter, good morning, yeah. my son. Yeah. It should start It will today. be awkward at first, okay? but it's, it's definitely yeah. there, but <laughs> progress like, I quite know yeah. we are both That, that, that uh, body is, is there. Yes. Finally, trust your child. Okay. Mm. Trust your child. Mm. Do you trust your child? Mm. Because if uh, they are in form one or form two, mm. Now, here you don't trust them. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, you have to keep on asking people to do things that they can do. Mm -hmm. okay? 
Talking of trusting your child, they will now start developing the sense of responsibility. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if they make mistakes, mm -hmm. we, we are also here, we are also part of some of the mistakes that we made. True. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where, that's where child have to be guided. Mm -hmm. The moment you, start, you trust your child, mm -hmm. with, give them 500 <coughs> shillings. After a week, Murise, mm -hmm. you know, once they start uh, taking accountability of sp spending money, okay. they start taking accountability of, by the way, where were you the whole day? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And uh, I, I, I was having a case of lesbianism. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the girl told me that the reason why she became a lesbian was because her mother always encloses her in the house. Yeah. And now our being is equal and Okay? You know, when you talk of sexual orientation, mm -hmm. The mother has restricted him interacting with men. Mm -hmm. But when other girls, including cousins and friends, come and, and, and spend the, the night at their home, mm -hmm. the mother is okay. Mm -hmm. And in the process, yeah. these you people, you, you have to understand when you talk to. of sexual orientation, yeah, they, yeah. they get to that. The, the, the parent is complaining that mm -hmm. my child is a lesbian. Okay. And you are the cause of the problem. Okay. All so right, but the point is about interest. trusting yes. them. Yeah. When they make them understand mm -hmm. when you interact with men, when you interact with the girls, mm -hmm. don't go beyond this. Okay. And this happened. The moment we start teaching our children, there are consequences of our actions. Mm -hmm. They'll take the responsibility. They'll take the responsibility. Yes. All right. So begin now is what yeah, you're saying. Even now. if yeah. even if you did not have that, just try as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and, and like we said earlier on, sometimes some of these conversations can be very awkward, yeah. uh, you know, for both the parents and, and the, the children. But you'd rather have them. You have, have the, them, the yeah. awkward face, yeah. but overcome the awkward face yeah. other than because not when, having when you have these kind of conversations, mm. you'd rather have an awkward conversation mm. than solving an awkward problem. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you, you can do it either, <laughs> which is part. easier. Yes. You know, solving the awkward problem that came due to you probably shying off From or shying of sharing, uh, having a, a topic of sex yeah. with a, your Form 1 girl, yeah. with, your form, with your Form 2 or even a, a, a crazy boy, okay? Mm -hmm. And we need to understand. Let's stop assuming that they know. Mm -hmm. I want to do it. I want to do it. I to it. Okay? So yeah. once you take the assumption and you discuss with them, mm -hmm. you're not discussing, you're not... Uh, probably discussing them. No, we fear sometimes with your game about sex, mm. they will start practicing that. Oh, yeah. They know, they even know. Mm. It's, I mean, it's only that you don't know that they the know. Internet. Okay? Yeah. So stop assuming that they don't know. Stop okay. assuming that. You see, that assumption is where we go wrong. We okay. assume they don't know, we yeah. assume they know. And okay. you fail to talk about it. Okay. Later on, they get into problems, mm. then you raise a corner. Okay, Nelson, I know, and Lydia, you want to chime in on the same, but let me mm. talk to um, Joel. As far mm. as, so fine, so the parents, you're really trying to make sure that you provide yeah. for your child and all those things, right? Yeah. But then again, the child is like, um, so how do I come in in terms of, I'm your child, am I your friend? How do I trust you? Um, you know, because Kamau says, yeah, you parents need to trust their children, right? Uh, yeah. So then finding that balance in terms of, yes, being a parent, mm -hmm. but at the same time being a friend. Wow. Mm. In the, one, in the words of one of the most celebrated presidents of America, Benjamin Franklin, mm. he once said that, tell me I forget, teach me, I may remember, mm. involve me, and I learn. Mm. So children are not just there to be told what to do, remove that cup, take it to the kitchen, mm. go here, do that. Mm -hmm. It's good for us to sit down and teach them how to reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That how do you like that glass on the table? Is it fine? Is that the best place it can be? Mm -hmm. Then the child will be like, mm, no mom or no dad, I think this ought to be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They're going to pick it and take it there. Mm -hmm. So the next time that you're not there, mm -hmm. you've already taught them the thought That's process. The if they see a glass on the table, the next thing, is it right? Is it at the right place? place or not, mm -hmm. they're going to pick it and take it there. So we are guiding them to become proactive, mm -hmm. not reactive. Okay. Then the other bit, I, I cited a case study of this parent who lost his child at the age of around eight years mm -hmm. of age. And you find this child told me that he has never had sittings one-on-one -on -one with the dad ever since he was 10 years old, one-on-one, mm -hmm. -on -one, yeah? So you find some parents have got five children or three children, mm -hmm. and you behave like a chief in a baraza. Watoto kujeni, kujeni kwa gani, tuende, yeah? Watoto kujeni kwa muti, yeah? You want to, to reprimand the mother, yeah? yeah. Sit there and mm -hmm. listen to me. Yeah. So you're just giving them commands, yeah? Okay. And they tell us that on everybody's face are the initials MMFI, make mm -hmm. me feel important. Mm. So if you've got those five children, why not have a date with each of each, them yeah. at their mm. own Get to time? Them. Yeah? Yes. You can take a walk with son number one, mm. discuss one, two, three, four. You can even mm. go for soccer with the boys. Yeah, You can go for 
coffee or tea mm -hmm. with the girl. Mm -hmm. You sit, you can buy anything, 50 bob, 100 bob, yeah. 1,000 bob, depending That's on how much you can stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by so doing, you're bringing each of them as close to you as possible. Mm -hmm. Now, there has been also a very big gap in the sense that the parents are expecting the teachers to tell the children everything about mm. sexuality, about mm. homosexuality. I'm also handling a mm. case on homosexuality mm. currently. And, and you find most parents are expecting that the teachers are going to handle this. Mm. It's going to be handled out mm. there. Mm. And the teachers are also expecting that the parents are going to handle, handle it. Handle so what happens? Yeah. So the, the, the child uh, defaults to their peers, mm. yeah, for them to receive guidance on what exactly is supposed to be done. Mm. So if we start creating that intimacy with our children, whether it's the girl or the boy, at the personal level, mm. they know that they have a safe space where mm. I can meet dad mm. and tell him, there's this boy who touched me here, or mm. there's this, this girl who touched me here, or there's mm. this girl who told me this and that, mm. or there's this neighbor who did this and that to me. Mm. And of course, as a parent, you need to have what is called emotional intelligence mm -hmm. and I've ordered that in my second book go for gold the art of asking right mm -hmm. now emotional intelligence is anchored on four pillars one is intrapersonal relationship mm -hmm. how do you relate with, with self mm -hmm. the second one is interpersonal relationship mm -hmm. how do you relate with mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. the third one which is very critical at this point in time mm -hmm. is what I call flexibility or adaptability mm -hmm. and the last one of course is change management mm -hmm. and you find no stress management mm. and you find pillar number three is where most of the problems are mm. because a child comes and tells you mom i've uh, been having uh bad things with other girls. And you're like, oh my God, mm. you of all? I thought I brought you up in the grace of God. And you want to beat up that child, you want yeah. to take them to the father for confession or yeah. to the bishop for prayers and all those other kind of things. Yeah. You've overreacted. Yeah. So the next time they are feeling like, okay. I need to share. I need to share. Think, uh, uh, I'd rather go to Chalina. Yeah. 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 They're not going to come to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why some of the students are saying, I, I would rather be at school yeah. with uh, mm -hmm. teachers that I can trust, mm -hmm. people that can hold my hand, mm -hmm. as opposed to uh, me being there. Mm -hmm. Then the other bit is about us not comparing our children with others. And mm -hmm. one of my colleagues mm -hmm. talked about that. Mm -hmm. I've ordered that in my first book, Between mm -hmm. Me and My Exploits. And there we talk about your USP. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, one of the most celebrated TV personalities, said that everything happens to us is an opportunity for us to choose love over fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And it's good for us to know those things that we are gifted in, yeah? The gifts, the talents, the special abilities. So mm -hmm. it is recorded in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, for those of us who refer to the good book, mm -hmm. that a man's gift opens doors for them and presents them before the presence of the high and mighty. And one of the easiest ways of us to bring out the best in these children is by spending time with them. Mm -hmm. We talked about the you quantity time and of course not the quantity yeah. time. Okay. And here you want to observe the small little things in your children. Mm -hmm. You want to affirm them in the areas that they are doing well. And you also want to come up with very good ways mm -hmm. of correcting them in the areas mm -hmm. that they are not doing well. Okay. So the moment we do these few things, uh, give them a listening ear, make sure that we are there for them. It's not just about how was your day and yeah. you just dashed to your room. Yeah. 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 What did so, you learn in school? Yeah. <laughs> so if you want them to tell you how their day was, yeah. uh, get to the house and greet them, my day was good. And this and that, this and that happened. Mm. What about you? How was mm. your day? Yeah. Mm. So you lead by example. You okay. set a pace mm. with regard to how they are going to respond to mm. you. But you do, if you don't do that, you don't give them a listening ear. You're always giving the commands. Then it's going to be very hard for them okay. to find a safe yeah. space. Mm -hmm. in you. Probably yeah. we need to interject on. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, probably at a point. Eh? Yeah. When it comes to boarding. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we come from homes, or we have, we have experienced a student sharing that. Mm. The moment my dad comes home, mm. it's time for news. Where can remote happen? Mm. You know, Maybe for them, yes. the issue of news is not a, especially the young generation. Mm. The issue of news, history, Oka, what mm. happened to yeah. Oka, 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 they have yeah. not interested in that. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the dad comes and when I got remote, we get in the bedroom, we get in the they start chatting, mm. they start socializing on social media. Mm. Talking of boarding, it is important. Sometimes, if you have a young girl who have seen Arera, mm. sit, go to the Arera. You know, in mm. parenting, you have yeah. to go. Mm. Don't to expect your child, child to, to meet your expectations. Yeah. Go to the Arera, yeah. bring them up. Mm. If you are watching Cinderella, mm. just listen, who is this? Cinderella, mm. I'm a fan in. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, mm. you, you listen, that they, you know that they have pro probably their programs that they follow on TV, mm. and they are so, so much interesting, and they, they follow them. Mm. Sometimes, listen, uh, I'm a fan of uh, mm. You know the process of them, 
telling you that story, mm -hmm. you are creating Creating about so you are much, remo you are yes. removing the fear, mm -hmm. and they can easily communicate to you. Okay. To you all right. Yeah. So can we take a break? But of course, when we come back, I know they also Lydia, you have a lot to say. But yeah. also, mm -hmm. we have teachers who have taken advantage of the learners yes. in school. Yeah. And as much as you're saying, fine, um, this learners don't get like the best environment at home so they'd rather stay in school and trust the teachers you'd find that some teachers take advantage of the fact that this child trusts them and you know starts doing things to do to this child so we'll also talk about um you know this kind of teachers right and then what needs to be done to make sure that in as much as yes they trust the teachers and they want to stay in school but the school is also safe for this learners to stay right um and have like a better environment for them to learn but if interacting with us at ntv kenya at libembe underscore winnie you want to call and especially if you're a parent and you want some guidance really as far as then how do I interact with my child or how do I keep them safe or engaged and all those things, developing a bond, spending time with them, feel free to do so. We have counselors, we have teachers as well and a life coach who will also help you with the same. But for now, let's take, uh, take a short break. We'll be right back with more right here on your world. Stay with us. Welcome back. Glad you're still with us. The show is Your World and today it's all about the impact of the long holidays on the learners, teachers and the parents um, as well. And of course, uh, we're asking, especially for the parents, I mean, what do you feel about the aspect of this learners being at home seven weeks? Are you prepared? Are you not? Do you have a plan in terms of how you get them engaged? Again, feel free to interact with us at NTV Kenya at Libembe underscore Winnie. But right about now, we have at Tariko from Mombasa on the line. Good morning. Morning, madam. Thank you very much for calling us today. Um, so you're a teacher and a parent as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So do you have a contribution? Do you have a question for the panel? Yeah, well, one of the questions, uh, okay, the contributions I want to make, one, I want to congratulate the panelists. Mm -hmm. They are really given us a very good uh, view of the whole issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I want to add on what they have said is about, uh, I was, but, but before I do that, mm. kindly let us be factual on a few things. Mm -hmm. One is like this code, the, 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 the few past time we have been having a problem of burning of schools. Mm. And the blame has been always on students, 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 students. Mm -hmm. when, when that one is not the, the fact. Mm. The, the, the curriculum implementers and uh, the designers, the, 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 the first course, by the way, is a congested curriculum, according to me. Mm. where we are taking our learners like robots, mm -hmm. where we expect them to do, is like biting more than they can swallow. Mm -hmm. You know, when you try to bite more than you can swallow, you end up uh, vomiting, and they are vomiting by burning schools. Mm. Uh, in, in, a, in a school like where I, I, I was, uh, it's like uh, the, the, the students wake up at 4.30 a.m., mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then they rush for the bathrooms, which are so congested, because of uh, too many, a lot of intake that uh, the facilities are not enough, so mm -hmm. that they have to take time. By exactly six, they are in class with a teacher. We teach them from exactly six mm -hmm. up to seven. Okay. We give, we give them a 10 minute break. Mm -hmm. Seven, 15, we continue teaching them, and we teach them until 4.30, no games. Mm -hmm. 4.30, we give them 30 minute break. We teach them until 5.30 when they go for supper, mm -hmm. immediately the, 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 there was a program which used to happen, like we used to allow them to watch news at 7, mm. albeit for 20 minutes, the local news, and then they go back to class. But that one was scrapped. Mm -hmm. So at 7, they are in class, mm -hmm. being taught by physically by a teacher from 7 to 8.30. Mm. Then after 8.30, they carry on their own preps up to around 11. Mm -hmm. 
these guys are doing exams almost daily. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they were actually worked upon that the, the, the best way to, to, to ventilate it is to ban school, is to get out of school. All right, because of uh, too much pressure. Is that what you're saying? There's a lot yeah, of pressure for, from the learners. Yeah, too much pressure. Okay, all right. Then, then, okay. then there's the issue of drugs. Mm. Then there is, of course, a very poor parenting, and that's why I'm happy with my panelists. Mm. We, we are taking our students or our, our, our children the way we want them to be. Mm. Even if ourselves, we were never like that. Okay. Uh, 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 we don't appreciate whatever efforts they're making. Mm. And my parents, so I, when I share with my students, they tell me when I take my platform to my parent, mm -hmm. uh, he even does not look at it. Okay. He just places this down and mm. says, if it is a D, I don't even want to look at it. Okay. All it, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. what I'm saying, finally. Mm -hmm. Very should, briefly. <laughs> we, we should read by example. Okay. All right. Even, Thanks. Even, 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 just kind of, I mean, if, even if our national leaders mm. are liars to the public mm -hmm. and our learners are hearing, you promise this, you promise this, you do the opposite. Mm. How do we expect even our own learners also to do the same on us? Okay. So kind of let us lead by example. All right. Thank you yeah. very much, Iris Derico from Mombasa, who's a teacher and a parent as well, chiming in on the conversation. Um, and of course, we began by actually talking about the fact that, you know, the education calendar was very tight. So there was a lot of pressure from the learners and, um, you know, the teachers as well as the parents who had to find ways to make sure that they pay the school fees on time. So it was a lot of pressure, um, you know, in all different angles. And of course, everyone was affected in one way or the other. Now, as far as then the teachers are concerned, yes, mm -hmm. teachers are in school, they take care of the kids, but also we also have like a few rowdy teachers yeah. who sometimes take advantage, <coughs> um, you know, of, of, of this learners. Mm -hmm. So in terms of making sure that fine, much as the, the teacher would want to be very close to the child and making sure that the learner is okay, settling well in school, but then again, where do you strike a boundary in terms of making sure they're safe, but also understanding your role as a teacher? Of course, uh, every teacher trained mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. They are professional ethics, mm -hmm. and you are not supposed to take advantage mm -hmm. of because these children are vulnerable. Yeah, you are not supposed to take advantage of them. Unfortunately, it is well said, mm -hmm. <laughs> but what happens on the ground uh, on the ground is, is very, 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 very different. Mm -hmm. I deal with a lot of girls mm -hmm. uh, in counselling, mm -hmm. and I get a lot of cases of. This teacher wants to have sex with me, this mm -hmm. teacher, and, and all that, and all that. Mm -hmm. What I do, I inform the school, mm -hmm. that particular school, that mm -hmm. I have had this, yeah. uh, that, that this is happening. Girls uh, in our school, so, some of them want to leave the school, mm -hmm. uh, and the reason why they want to leave the school is because they, don't the, feel the, safe in they the are school. not safe in the school mm -hmm. because the teachers are having sex with children mm -hmm. in their cars at night mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I inform them because I'm dealing with not the one who was it was done to, mm -hmm. but she knows it is happening. Mm -hmm. You see, it's it's also a bit vague. Yeah. So I usually tell the the, the school this is what I have heard about the school. So mm -hmm. can the principal do the mm -hmm. investigation? Mm -hmm. But it is really happening. Mm -hmm. The fact is, it is it's really happening. Really happening. I, and so many teachers have been sacked mm -hmm. uh, by TSC. It's mm -hmm. unfortunate that they are only sacked. Mm -hmm. I wish they, something else was done yeah. beyond that. To prevent the, um, the same, yeah. Um, but on the other hand, there mm -hmm. are also parents that come to know about it and then they are given money mm -hmm. behind the scene and then mm -hmm. they... Let they are quiet go. about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't know that they have destroyed that girl. Mm. Uh, it's very unfortunate that it's also happening between female teachers and boys. Yes. It is very, very unfortunate, mm -hmm. but it is also happening. Yeah. And this teacher should be punished. Yeah, and I yeah. mean, we also aired a story right here on NTV where a boy was also sodomized, right, yeah. in school. Yes. Um, so then you ask, so then where are they safe, you know? And, and why is it that these teachers just get like a very lenient punishment and... Mm. That's it. And, uh, and it this is wrong. left with the trauma that will affect them for, 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 for forever. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is very bad. Mm -hmm. And I think we should, uh, action should be taken. Mm -hmm. if, and, uh, but there is a way of dealing with it instead of no, we like, like the case of Aquinas. Mm -hmm. Everybody is talking about it, I'm not talking about it. Mm -hmm. What can we do to prevent mm -hmm. that from happening? Yeah. Because when you educate children, that is the role of the guidance and counseling department. Mm -hmm. You create awareness. Mm -hmm. The minute the form one step in school, mm -hmm. the first thing you do 
is create awareness. Mm -hmm. There is something called sodomy. Mm -hmm. It is done this way, mm -hmm. this way. This mm -hmm. is how you are going to be introduced. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, this is, these are the corners and mm -hmm. so on and so on. Mm -hmm. You create that awareness. Mm -hmm. Then you tell them what to do okay. in case, for example, you find a note in your desk mm -hmm. written, I feel you. What are you supposed to do with that note? Mm -hmm. Because those are ways of introduction. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are you supposed to do with that note? Mm -hmm. So those children are, intro are, are educated. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm going to mm -hmm. react to this. The then the school should have policies. Mm -hmm. What happens when that note is brought by this child? Mm -hmm. This is the procedure. Okay. What happens when the child says, there's somebody who came to my bed? Mm -hmm. What do we do to prevent another one doing the, the same. same. So what are the policies? And you educate the children mm -hmm. on the policies mm -hmm. and you educate the parents on the policies. On the policies as well. So that the parent is also aware that mm -hmm. even this and this and this happens. Mm -hmm. So that creating awareness, that is what is not happening. Okay. But you see how many schools are manned by a trained counselor? Mm -hmm. The Department of Guidance and So counseling. there's a deficit there. There's a deficit there, there because be the, the, the counselor is supposed to, when you create that awareness, the children are aware. Mm -hmm. Then, like now they are finishing class eight. Mm -hmm. Who is preparing them for form one? Mm -hmm. Some and there will be a double intake this year. So yes. it's, 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 Who is it's preparing them yes. for that? And that's no. why I tell, now parents, come together in that estate. Mm -hmm. Come together in that village. Mm -hmm. You have children that are doing class eight. Can you bring them together and get somebody who knows mm -hmm. how to handle it okay. with you there? Mm -hmm. And let the children be told, this is what to expect in high school, mm -hmm. and this is how to go about how to it. Go about it. The like church, see, you could preach every yeah. every Sunday. Have there is time to teach. Well. Yes, have a, with these children. Yeah. And let them, them, let them know this is what is mm -hmm. happening. When there were so many school address, I know there is a church that called the, the, when the children came home, called all of them and mm -hmm. asked them, why are schools being bad? And they mm -hmm. came up with a lot of issues, which mm -hmm. are the counselors handled. Mm -hmm. But okay. this is what is happening. Right. Unfortunately, even those, these girls who had taken advantage of, or the boys had, had been taken advantage of by the mm -hmm. teachers, mm -hmm. if we guide them. Okay. And to we, report. Because sometimes they're scared to report report. And even well. how to prevent themselves from reaching from getting that, to that, that, to point. that position. How okay. do you tell that this teacher mm -hmm. is not just a teacher, okay. but it can take advantage of me. Of me. That we do prevention mm -hmm. instead of just we are overreacting after it has already uh, yes, happened. happened and, and living, you know, trauma yeah. to, to, to this to this to child. The, to the okay child, then. Yeah. And then of course right now this learner is exposed to the internet. And from the internet, you know, get to learn a lot. So again, boundaries, this is what you can watch, this is not what you can watch, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Now let me go through it as yes. a CSL uh, yes. Officer. Yes. And but, uh, first, I'm going to tell you what is CSL. Mm -hmm. This is community service learning. Uh, it's basically integrating learners and the community. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, you have been seeing, students. It's the CBC. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually an initiative of the KICD and Educate Kenya. Mm -hmm. So uh, it will be a, a syllabus, mm -hmm. and it will be a subject in the senior secondary. Okay. Uh, so that uh, now, uh, before I talk about the social media, mm -hmm. uh, let's see the overall. Uh, mm -hmm. pair of the community because okay. the community also has uh, oh, a role to play. Uh, so uh, in the community, now that the students are at home, mm -hmm. one thing comes very clear. Mm -hmm. Like now, we are creating red zones for our children mm -hmm. as a society, mm -hmm. parents and the community at large. Mm -hmm. We some, there is something called over pampering. You're pampering students so much. Mm. Somebody is in four four. You're calling him mom, daddy, <laughs> daddy, and ulete, daddy and kasirika. Nikulete ni ni leo jioni. You see. This is a man who needs to harden yeah. because there are so many responsibilities ahead of him. Yeah. But you are here spoon feeding him, yeah. and that, that's why you are finding that students nowadays they are only the first thing they think is suicide or thought. Mm -hmm. During our time, that was the last option to think about. Yeah. But right now, somebody just have a breakup with a, a, a small relationship. Yes, he's just thinking of yeah. because they have been mm -hmm. over uh, mm -hmm. over pampered. Mm -hmm. Secondly, over protecting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, as a teacher, I tell you, I think your son is, has some cure behavior. You tell me my son cannot do that. Mm. My daughter cannot do that. Mm. I saw your daughter somehow late, somewhere late. Mind your own oh, business. My daughter yes. cannot do that. Like parenting has now been like single heartedly. Yeah, like getting my point. As initially, mm. Kitabu, yes. it was like a community. Yes. Your aunt, yes. I'm not yeah. your neighbor, finds you doing something. Yeah, one yeah, of chapa. Yeah, yes. But now it's like, not touch my child. Nowadays, people are minding their like business. Yes. Yes. Because even if you tell the parent, yeah. they will say that you're jealous or something like that. Mm. So uh, as the com uh, in the community, you find that during our time, going to Sunday school mm. was not an option. No. But nowadays, parents, actually parents, they're not going to church. Yeah. Mm. 
they're not going to charge. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you ask students keenly, uh, where did you first get your sip of alcohol? Mm -hmm. Uh, they will tell I you know. from my father's cabin, mm -hmm. and uh, my, my father always take me to a club, mm -hmm. and uh, you are the one who are creating this red zone. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday, every Saturday, your son has to go out. Mm -hmm. Where are you taking them? Mm -hmm. As much as they are taking juice, and you are taking alcohol, they are watching. The environment is there. So they are looking forward. So after, when they are for, in Form 1 now, they start taking alcohol, mm -hmm. you start blaming everyone. Mm -hmm. But I think you created that on your own. Okay. Uh, when right. it comes to social, uh, mm -hmm. to social uh, setup, mm -hmm. uh, I think that is one area we don't want to touch so much, mm -hmm. but it is very important very critical. because like uh, for, for the last few years mm. or like last year you find that uh, music uh, they are glorifying alcohol and drugs mm -hmm. and those songs are becoming hit songs mm -hmm. we don't have to mention them mm -hmm. but uh, there are some songs that they're only glorifying things that when our students learn mm -hmm. and what they hear is what they practice it's cool. they want to be okay associated they want to the associate scene. with them mm -hmm. so you find that uh, when they go through that mm -hmm. Uh, the parents are not there to monitor them. And actually, you cannot blame parents mm. because they cannot be there to monitor what their children are yeah. doing, all, uh, the doing all the time. The so I think uh, as parents mm. and as uh, religious leaders and as teachers, we need to tell them, mm. uh, at this time, let's focus on this. Mm. Like uh, there's, there's a song that was sung, but I'm not going to saying that uh, maybe, uh, maybe like uh, Kenya is a drinking nation. Mm. I want my students to know because I know they are listening. Mm -hmm. Kenya is not a drinking nation. Mm. And we are not going to allow that. Mm. And I'm asking those people, the Mutua, uh, the Mutua let him be keen mm. on the content that mm. is there. Mm. As much as uh, people want us to listen to Kenyan music, mm. what does Kenyan music content has? Mm. We, have, we, we like Kenyan music, we are supporting it. But let them give us quality music okay. that is you educative to our to the, to, uh, to the learners. Okay, all yes. right. And then, of course, the influence of social media, very quickly, because I can see our time is far much spent. Mm. Of course, these learners have access to it. Right, social media, they can stay there, like you said earlier on. Baba King, Nyumba, all the kids kill up to amend their different bedrooms. You don't know what they're doing on their phones and all those things. So, and you cannot, you cannot, um, follow them all the time, asking them, won't find your on social media, you know? So that aspect of them taking responsibility as an individual, much as yes, the teachers are taking responsibility, parents are doing the same, but also the learners take um, responsibility for themselves, right? Uh, talking of taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, whose life are we addressing? It's yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are probably your three siblings. Mm -hmm. It's you, your two brothers, it's you, your two sisters, and, also, and so on. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, you need to uh, get to a point and focus on you. Mm -hmm. Whom do I want to be? Mm -hmm. What do I do want to achieve? Mm -hmm. where, will I, where do I want to be in the next 10 years? Mm -hmm. When you start thinking of where you, what you want to achieve, where you want to be, Definitely, you know, there will be barriers. Mm -hmm. There will be, uh, there, there is, there is influence. Mm -hmm. You have to do a number of things. You have to evaluate who are your friends. Mm -hmm. Will they help you get you to, uh, to where you want you to want achieve? To yeah. uh, will they help you uh, achieve what you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. I went speaking to a high school, mm -hmm. somewhere in Nyeri. Mm -hmm. The principal told me, I think you need to talk to a student mm -hmm. because uh, last night they went to, they stormed out of classes. Mm -hmm. Went to the dormitory singing at Pagwigui, at Pagwigui. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's okay, yeah. how Pagwigui, yeah. but uh, you also need to ask yourself. Mm. Can you pay your school fees? You can't. You can't. At, at some point, mm. if you can't feed yourself, mm. if you can't pay your fees, uniform is a teacher, mom, you are at home right now, you can't even buy a packet of funga. Mm. You, I'm talking to students saying, taking responsibility means you have to take guidance. Mm -hmm. When your parents uh, tell you don't take alcohol, mm -hmm. it does not mean your problem or you go and you have to go and Yeah, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Yeah. When they tell you stop running after girls, mm -hmm. your dad is not telling you to stop running after girls so that so they can laugh after, after them. them. Yeah? yeah, you know, when, when your yeah. mom tells you, <laughs> don't. It's, the issues of boy, boyfriends. Yeah. He's not telling you to leave the boyfriend so that so probably that she, she can take them. them. Yeah. <laughs> She's, you know, parents think mm. but we need to, they need to start seeing parents mm. as a, they are restricting us probably because they are protecting our oh, future. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They are focused on the next 10 years. Mm. Today you are 17, and the next day you'll be 27. 27 yes. you know, it comes a point when, uh, when your parents take you to, you are done with high school, you mm. are done with tertiary level of education. Mm. So, yeah. okay? you go. that time, what will happen? Mm. So, take responsibility of your life. Mm. The other thing is, you don't have to consume everything. 
Ugisikia watu wakiitana sijui these on, on bit politicians. Mm. You know politicians who use any oh, statements yeah, so, mm. so long as they win the elections, yeah? mm. They also have children. Mm. But it, it it goes back it goes down to you. Mm. When you talk of uh, when you hear the, all the kind of insults and the language that they are using, mm. is it what you want to consume? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Uh, when you see people, you know, nowadays there is a lot of, you know, during our, our days growing up, we go on a Kesha. We took out mm -hmm. our generation. Nowadays, our generation got a bash. And I wanted to, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, they even use some, some measures. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to spend the night with, with uh, so and so, who is a friend, who is a girl. Mm -hmm. and, when you call that girl, at a biya kohapa. Na hayu ko huko, ako kwa boyfriend. I made a slip over somewhere. Yeah. You need to take responsibility of your life. Okay. You need to. This is the time to what you call. You know, even in companies and organization, mm -hmm. we go for capacity building. Mm -hmm. The reason people go for training, the reason why you went for journalism or whatever mm -hmm. course you took, mm -hmm. is to gain so that you can build the capacity to do what you do. What you do, yeah. At the stage that you are at today, mm -hmm. you are there to build mental, emotional, and even financial capacity, yeah. so that when time comes, you to take care of your take responsibility of your yeah, life so. and that of your family. You're you well have you be in a position to do that. I like so that. at this okay. point, mm -hmm. it's about you building capacity yeah. it's not about it's having so. fun yeah. you have to sacrifice so many things yeah. friends some parties and all this mm -hmm. for the sake of the person of you want to self. be yeah i like yeah. what you said today you're 17 in the next 10 years will be 27 yeah. if yeah. you're not yeah. well equipped you don't be, you don't be 16 forever forever yeah. absolute yeah. fact fact okay all right so we only have like three more minutes to go and i'd want you to speak um as far as then fine so they'll be home for seven weeks right yeah but then when they go back to school it's like you know there's, mm -hmm. there's no time to rest so in terms of then mentally preparing preparing this learners that yes yeah. you're home now mm -hmm. but when you go back to school mm -hmm. it will be it will not be easy so yeah. mentally preparing them i mean what can parents do just to make sure that yes rest now mm -hmm. but when you go back to school it will not be easy and so that we can also prevent some of these things that we have cited wow mm -hmm. so th that's that's a wonderful one one of my mm -hmm. colleagues here cited that the uh, people in the spiritual circles mm -hmm or social circles should come up with programs that are supposed to keep these uh, young ones engaged. Okay. And currently we are also running a program called Be the Captain. Mm -hmm. We've started in the Western Nyanza area and after in a short while we shall be launching it online so that it can be approached, it can be uh, accessed by every other person. Mm -hmm. I'm also running a YouTube channel, Joel Kobia T. Joe TV. And in that channel, there's a lot that we're doing touching on the young ones mm -hmm. on how they can run their lives. And all this is built on the premise that how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. And it's good for us at this point in time to ensure that we come up with a schedule. If at school you're waking up at 4.30 or at 5 a.m., mm -hmm. it's good for you to come up with a schedule that is not very far from there. Mm -hmm. If you're waking up at 4.30 a.m. in school, you can come up with one that you're waking up at maybe 7. Mm -hmm. And you can come up with a short uh, study guide, mm -hmm. probably where you're studying between 2 and 4 hours mm -hmm. from maybe whatever time to whatever other time. Okay. Then the other bit, it's good for you to come up with what we call the SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. It's good for you to know your strengths, your weaknesses, then what opportunities can you tap mm -hmm. using your strengths mm -hmm. and what can you do on your weaknesses so that they don't become mm -hmm. threats. Mm -hmm. So it's at this point in time that we as parents should engage our teachers to mm -hmm. find out what are those weak areas of our children that we can work with them in the course of this holiday so that it doesn't develop into mm -hmm. a threat. Okay. Then what are those strengths that they have so that we can find opportunities for them. Mm -hmm. If we can come up with that, then it's going to be very good. Okay. Finally, it's good for us to ensure that we strike a balance between rest and study. Mm -hmm. Just because you're on holiday, it's not a time There's to no throw off books over. and sleep all the time, watch TV all the time. Mm -hmm. It's good for us to strike the balance because mm -hmm. how you do anything is how you do everything. I like that. And yeah. on that note, we conclude the show today. Thank you very much for all for coming by today. Joel Kobe, a youth leader and financial strategist, who also had Lydia Nguiri, who's a teacher and a counselor. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, not forgetting Nelson Juguna, who's a teacher and community service learning <laughs> facilitator, mm -hmm. as well as Mashari Kamau, counseling psychologist and education consultant. Thank you very much. Uh, we know it has been an insightful conversation and I know for the parents out there, you're happy. Now you have all the skills that you need to have to make sure that you keep your children engaged at home, but also not forget that uh, seven weeks goes by very, very fast and they'll still need to go back to school. And the teacher said, please bring us the students the same way we're, you know, handing over to you um, during this period. And that is of the long holiday. So my name is Winnie Lubembe. Thank you very much for watching until the end of the show. I'll uh, have yourselves a restful weekend and we'll see you soon right here on Your World. Goodbye. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,